Hey children, uh, welcome to um, the first video tutorial uh, for your kinematics and slash free fall test. Um, so what I want to talk about first is uh, graphing. Now, on your test, what your problems are going to be like is you'll have either a position versus time graph being given to you or a velocity versus time graph again given to you. Now you won't have an acceleration versus time graph given to you. You will have to construct that yourself. So let's say I give you a position versus time graph that looks um, let's say looks like this. Okay. Now <clears throat> my initial velocity how we find that is by the slope of the tangent line. So if I stick a point right there and I find the slope of that line, it is negative. That means that my initial velocity must also be negative. Now, as I continue moving down the line, my slope gets less and less negative and it approaches zero. So my velocity must also get less and less negative, but approach zero. Now, it is linear because my acceleration is going to be constant. Now, how we get acceleration is the slope of the tangent line of velocity. So if I look at this graph, the slope is the same everywhere, and the slope is positive. Therefore, my acceleration needs to also be positive and horizontal. So, let's do uh, another example. Let's say um, you aren't given your position versus time graph, but you are given a velocity versus time graph. And let's say it looks like that. Now, if you, on your test, for whatever reason, uh, become confused and forget that, how to find your position versus time graph. Easy, easy, easy points are going to be your acceleration versus time graph. So on your test, these problems are going to be worth two points. One for that graph, and one for the other graph that you have to construct. In this case, it was this graph. So here, my acceleration, slope of the tangent line. The slope is again constant everywhere. And it is also negative because the line is sloping down. So therefore my acceleration needs to also be negative and below the axis in the negative region. Now, what's going to be tricky is drawing my position versus time graph. So initially, I have positive velocity, but the object is slowing down because if you look, my velocity is positive, but my acceleration is negative. Those two are working against each other to cancel each other out. So this object is slowing down. So my position versus time graph needs to have an initial positive velocity, but get closer and closer to zero. So that would be my position versus time graph. If I look at that, the slope of the tangent line right here is positive, but my slope of the tangent line right here is zero, just like my velocity versus time graph. So uh, I think on your test, you'll have three problems like this. So they're each worth two points apiece. So that's six points of your total test right here with these types of problems. Now, another type of problem that you'll see is if you are uh, given a graph, let's say you're given a, um, let's say you're given a position versus time graph. And it looks like this, and then like this, and then, and then. Now, uh, you'd be given some time intervals here, so let's just say two, uh, three, and four. 
let's say this right here is like 3.25 and this right here is 3 uh, yeah close enough okay so you would be asked where is the object at rest well your graph your object is rest at the flat part because the slope of the tangent line right here up top is zero. You've got a flat line. Now, where is the speed the greatest? That on your graph is going to be the steepest slope right here. This is almost straight down. It's not quite straight down, but it's pretty close. Okay? Now, another type of problem that you would see is if you were asked to, say, find the acceleration at um, oh, I don't know, let's say this is one second. So you're asked to find the acceleration at one second. Well, to do that, you could find the slope between these two points. Because again, slope of the tangent line gives you velocity, and you see that the slope of the tangent line here is no different than here, here, here. So find the slope between these two points, and that would give you your velocity for that graph. So, five most important words. Slope of the tangent line. That is your bread and butter. Anytime you see a graph, you need to immediately be thinking, okay, what is the slope of the tangent line? 